Uh, well, you know, this time of year, it's kind of, it gets kind of difficult to, you know, find some things that you really want to cook with. And, um, kind of my philosophy, I guess, is it's like, get back to basics, you know, it's this, the carrots and celery and root vegetables and making great salads, a huge variety of like uh, all different kinds of like specialty things coming in and whatnot. So I always love to just back to the basic salads. There's radicchios and frisés and beautiful spinach and green leaf and red leaf and romaine and butter lettuce, all these beautiful lettuces, plus radishes, um, you know, watercress, celery, all these things that you can just throw into a nice, beautiful salad, mix with a little vinaigrette, just kind of toss it together and just have it just simple, but good quality, good flavor. And that's, it's really great right now. I am looking at the celery and carrots and thinking of my grandmother's Italian stew. That sounds so yummy. Oh, with that chicken and escarole soup for my grandmother, I, I can taste it right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, what are some of the other things you have there you want to show us? Um, so, well, you know, it's kind of Washington's, uh, you know, we're, we've got a little bit of vegetables left, like root vegetables, um, parsnips and turnips and things like that. We still have butternut squash and acorn squash and delicata squash uh, that are still available. And then we also have some beautiful chanterelles coming into season. You know, Washington produce and, and uh, some beautiful squash is still in season. So acorn, delicata, butternut, spaghetti, kabocha squash, just kind of uh, chop them up, olive oil, salt and pepper, roast them in the oven, just have them like that, maybe a little bit of a uh, crumply goat cheese over the top, something like that, super simple, really great flavor. Um, you can also mix some of these beautiful chanterelle mushrooms that are uh, still local, still in season that are available. And that's something really great just to have right now. It's kind of one of those uh, unique times of year where you have those two together. I actually have never cooked with chanterelle mushrooms before. Typically when I have, you know, the star squash, I cut it in half, put it like a half a stick of butter and a bunch of brown sugar. How, yeah. how do I add in like mushrooms to, to the squash? Well, I think uh, one would be great. We would use the delicata squash. You could just cut it in half, roast that in the oven. And then on the side, you wanna saute your mushrooms with some onion and garlic, and then just drizzle like maybe some uh, reduced balsamic vinegar or and just salt and pepper. And then you can just have the whole thing just like that. Really simple, really great. Simple, great and healthy, like super Yeah, healthy. super healthy. And my that. kids like it too. So if the kids like it, you know, you're, you're ahead of the game there. I know, <laughs> you can get them to eat anything these days. <laughs> yeah. You have much more to show us though that is really true at Washington's heart, right? You, yep, for sure. All right, so, and then of course in Washington this time of year, it's, you know, apples and pears. We still have some beautiful crisp apples. There's Fuji apple, the honey crisp, Taylor gold pears, boss pears, Comey's pears, all these beautiful pears that are just ready for just eating or, you know, putting in your salad that we talked about before. And we got the, of course, the beautiful cosmic crisp apple, you know, it's like the, uh, the uh, Copper River salmon of uh, the fruit industry. So it's just something really <laughs> special. They're super crunchy, super sweet. Um, it's definitely something you, you want to take home. If people have not had that, they have to try it. How would you describe that Cosmic Crisp? Because I feel like it's like honey uh, crisp on, on steroids. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're kind of right there. It does have a lot of like that old gala apple flavor to it, but which is kind of weird because most people don't really eat galas, but it has like a, a subtle sweetness, but then it's got this really crispy texture to it, which is just, I mean, you can't go wrong there. That texture is 100%. I love that texture. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, th then also this time of year, you know, you get a lot of the California citrus starting to come in. So you're going to have car, car oranges. You're going to have blood oranges. You're going to have the, the beautiful stem and leaf satsumas that, you know, mm -hmm. you just put on the counter. You just eat as a snack and they're just super sweet, super juicy and just something great to have. I could eat a whole tree of satsumas. They're my favorites. <laughs> yeah, we have a bowl on the counter all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Was there anything else you wanted to show us? Um, you know, it's just like I said, you know, this time of year is kind of tough to, to think about what you want to cook. Um, there's, you know, there's still asparagus, even though it's, it's imported, that's still really good. We have some beautiful barbecue onions for grilling. If you're, you have like a nice afternoon or something like that, you want to turn the barbecue on, um, you know, russet potatoes and all the potato uh, Yukons and these little beautiful marble potatoes are available. You just got to come to the market enjoy the, the life down here, enjoy what we have to offer, um, see the new product, let our, let our salesmen show you what to eat, 
And, um, you know, you just can't go wrong when you come down here. It's, it's not busy like it usually is. And uh, there's plenty of parking. And, you, you know, you come in, you talk to us, we hand select everything for you. So it's safe. It's, it's just the way to go right now. It's outdoors. <laughs> It's outdoors, and you know what? On top of it all, you can feel like the good holiday vibes down there. So I'll see you like in an hour, okay? All right, we'll be here waiting for you. I did not make it down there, but we all need to take him up on this offer and go to the market and ask what's in season and the best way to cook it up. He knows fresh ideas, so delightful.